Hello, I am Adam and I am making an autobiographical documentary about my experience of having invisible disabilities while growing up in East London and how I overcame some of the barriers that I had faced during childhood with the right support networks given to me at the time. I was born at the Royal London Hospital and I am my parents' first child and I also come from a dual heritage household. Adam has been a very happy baby and loved by both sides of the family as he is the first grandchild. Adam has always been a very curious child and as he was growing up he had many difficulties. For example, I did not realise that his walking was delayed and when he was walking, he was walking on toes which often made him fall on the playground and get hurt which also meant he couldn't walk for longer. We had to take rest when we were on holidays. But there are other things when he was developing. For example, he couldn't cut his um, food. He couldn't swallow hard food. So I had to make his food softer, taught him how to cut food. And often, for example, he couldn't tie shoelaces. So he's always had shoes with Velcro. He is very curious in the sense he wants to know what's happening next. So he responds very well to routine and structures. And as he knows, he feels reassured um, if he knows what's going to happen next. And I try to support him with that. I was given speech therapy support when I had unclear speech and couldn't express my feelings to other people or understand other people's facial expressions. As a child, I felt overwhelmed being in a big, crowded and noisy place. For example, when I look at my mother's PhD event family photograph, I am shown to be crying because I was feeling uncomfortable and scared of the unknown faces in the big hall. That was too crowded and noisy for me at the time. I am still struggling with social communication so to help me overcome this problem I try and take part in small discussions and meet new people 
especially when working on two projects on a summer work experience placement with young people where I go out in the community and uh, get other people's opinions based on specific topics. And this helped me build my comfort zone in order to meet new people of my age group uh, and especially to work with professionals such as artists, academics and staff members. Life for everyone in, in the UK changed, of course, because of lockdown and the measures uh, were brought in to protect everyone against COVID. And, and that, that created um, you know, changes to everyone's routine. And of course, changes to routines are particularly difficult for anyone who's on the autistic spectrum. So I'm incredibly proud of the way that Adam adapted to, to, to life under lockdown. We had to start thinking about preparing Adam for university. Now, one of the reasons he, he moved in with me is because the University of East London is much easier to get to from my house. Some of the other changes that Adam had to get used to was actually travelling on public transport, because up until university, Adam didn't really have to rely on public transport because he could get everywhere he needed, uh, either by a short walk or being driven uh, either by his mum or his dad. I am more accepting of my hidden disabilities nowadays so that other people can fully understand and accept me the way I am, especially because I have some good skills and qualities, uh, such as having a good memory, having good eye for detail. Despite facing all my challenges uh, while growing up, uh, I feel that I have had a really happy childhood because my family gave me a lot of love, care and support to help me reach my potential in life and especially because they took me on many memorable holidays. Also, my grandparents gave me some toys to play with that I enjoyed and liked to play with, such as spinning toys. My key message to the audience is that whenever you come across any young children and people who are suffering from their hidden disabilities, is that rather than considering them to be a problem, you give them the right support that they would need for them to reach their potential to succeed in their lives.